Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the Arrowverse, but mainly Superman and Lois Season 2 and the season finale, along with a little bit of The Flash, because this is mainly a crossover video. We have some interesting news about two separate things, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be talking about is Superman Lois and there was an interview that was released by TV Guide you guys can get TV Guide in stores and online there is ways to order it but basically some people were able to get some photos of TV Guide's latest magazine and there was an interview with the showrunner of Superman Lois and that showrunner Todd Helbing who used to work on The Flash gave some interesting quotes to TV Guide and we're going to be breaking down some of them in today's video I'm going to be reading out the article and so it's kind of a little bit old it's like a week old and it was talking about l last week's previous episode but we can talk about it briefly and kind of skip over the bits that aren't relevant anymore but without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it so the article begins like this as season two of the standout superhero saga races to a dramatic close all hell breaks loose in Smallville we kind of went crazy with the spectacle, showrunner Todd Helbing excitedly admits of the final two episodes. In last week's action-packed hour, mad cult leader Ali Alston ramps up a plan to fuse the multiple universes at play in the series into one. And so after this, Superman's family and friends have to step up and take point that being Clark's wife Lois and their twin sons Jonathan and Jordan as well as John Henry Irons and his daughter Natalie, they run point on saving the day while Superman is completely incapacitated because of Ali's attack at the end of last episode that drained Superman of his powers. Still, global chaos reigns in the June 28th finale, so that's just in about two weeks time, just under two weeks time from now when I'm recording this video on June 15th. Let's continue with this. Even after Clark and his bestie, Mayor Lana Lang, rallied their panicked neighbours into action, a series of unimaginable events threatened not only just the Kansas town, but also the very existence of mankind on Earth. It's kind of bonkers, says Helbing. He goes on to say, How Ali's onslaught is reversed is as secret as Clark's identity. That's what TV Guide writes. They go on, what Helbing can reveal is that viewers will finally find out how Superman Lois in the season finale and the last two episodes fits into the Arrowverse. Throughout the finale, Lois's father, General Lane, mentions things where you're going to be like, wait, what? And then he gives a speech that is very clear. You learn everything from him, the executive producer promised, adding, General Lane has the most inspirational grandfather father moment that he's had so far in the series and also finally expect a last minute visit from Arrow veteran David Ramsey's John Diggle although the fan favorite presence has more to do with Superman and Lois's future than its past that scene is to tee up our big bad for season three helping says so what can we analyze here well we're not gonna analyze the start of the article because the start of the article is more about what was going on last episode and we know if you've watched the episode where we're picking up this next episode with the team helping out and taking over while Superman is out of action and they're going to have to find a way to stop Ali but in regards to what Todd Helbing and TV Line mention to do with Diggle and a potential reference and how Superman Lois fits into the Arrowverse that is what is really interesting so they say and they tease that Viewers will finally find out how Superman Lois fits into the Arrowverse, and that's going to happen in the finale. Now, this is something that we've been waiting for for a long time. Fans of the show have been asking, when are you finally going to do it? Well, it seems now is the time. Although Diggle showing up in the past was definitely the confirmation that it's in the Arrowverse. Apart from that, we've, I think, pretty much only had like one tiny reference to Crisis. And that's pretty much it, like there's been no references to Supergirl, The Flash, any other show in the Arrowverse, 
apart from Diggle showing up, so kind of an Arrow reference, I guess, showing back to, you know, the old days of Arrow and bringing back a character. Superman Lois also hasn't been a crossover since Crisis on Infinite Earths, so they weren't in Armageddon, none of the characters, so there wasn't any crossover there. And so this is finally a big moment for Superman Lois fans because the season two finale is going to apparently somehow explain how Superman Lois fits into the Arrowverse. I don't know whether that's, you know, exploring the multiverse a bit more because what Ali is doing is very multiversal in its nature and potentially we get some insight from Superman as he tries to fix whatever Ali has done. However, there is also the chance that we just get like a little bit of a catch up about where exactly they lie after Crisis and what's going on with their world right now. Is it the same as The Flash? Have they changed it? We don't know as of right now. But they go on to say, apparently General Lane mentions things where you're going to be like, wait, what? And then he gives a speech that is very clear. You learn everything from him. And that comes right after the quote about how Superman Lois fits into the Arrowverse. So it's weird that General Lane is going to be the one to do that. But I guess he does have information, especially with, you know, his DOD sources and how close he's been with them in the past because he used to work for them, was a very high ranking officer, I guess. I don't know if it's an officer or not. Nevertheless, he's important, and I get why he is the one to find out. However, I wonder in what manner he's going to explain this, or potentially they find out in the finale what is going on with the multiverse, but maybe they've known this whole time and they've just not mentioned it. We'll have to wait and see if they go into such detail or not. But apparently, General Lane, he has a couple of nice moments in this finale, and he's obviously going to be very important, and so is his speech, because that's going to make it very clear where we're at right now. And then, Todd Helbing, in the TV Guide article, goes on to say, Finally expect a last-minute visit from David Ramsey's John Diggle. So this is the huge news, that David Ramsey is returning to the Arrowverse on screen. It's been a while since we've seen him, but it's so great that he's coming back to Superman Lois because, like I said, that's the one Arrowverse reference that they've overtly done. And now he's coming back, and it's all going to be coming full circle. And it's actually not really to do with his past or his links to anything else, but apparently to do with the Season 3 storyline that they're going for. And it's going to be a big scene that's going to tee up the big bad for Season 3. So it seems very likely that John Diggle is going to be linked to the big bad of Superman Lois Season 3, potentially someone that we've seen on Arrow before, someone that he's fought from the past, and that's why he shows up. I reckon the reason he comes to Smallville is to ask for help, that's probably why he's showing up, that makes the most logical sense, and it seems maybe with his work at Argus, he's been tracking someone, and this someone is a threat to Smallville, or he thinks it's a job for Superman, and so he comes to Smallville and asks Superman to help out. That is just a theory. I don't know if that's confirmed or not. Probably it's not going to happen that way. But it's very, very exciting to know that we're going to have another crossover, even if it's just a tiny crossover towards the end of this season of Superman Lois. I'll take anything that I can get, and I'm sure you guys will as well. Okay, so the final part of the video, I want to go over... A little snippet from a TV line article now they just released this new article it's got like a bunch of questions from fans and TV line was able to talk to a source and this specific source of the question we're breaking down is to do with the flash that source is showrunner Eric Wallace of the flash who has been doing lots of interviews heading towards the season finale of the flash coming later in June and so the question was this Will Mia Smoke be returning to The Flash again in Season 8? So TV Line reports that they've been able to get the question to Eric Wallace and apparently he would report it back by saying, quote, Not this year, but I do hope to have her back in Season 9. That is the extent of all that has been revealed in regards to any plans for Mia to return in the near future. And obviously Mia came in Armageddon, so there is a link there and that's, I believe, why the fan is asking the question. And so it's confirmed, not this year, there's not going to be really any crossovers, even at the end of the season. It's going to be Flash-centric, it's going to be lots of species on screen, it's going to be very exciting, we all know that. However, 
Season 9, we know Eric Wallace's plans for at least a mini crossover, not a big crossover right now. He confirmed recently that there's still COVID protocols in place, basically blocking them from doing a huge crossover, whether they like it or not. And so in the case of this, having her back in potentially Season 9 would be exciting. And the slot to do that would be that crossover that Eric has been teasing. And I'm not sure exactly the mechanics of how we would bring back Mia Smoke, but I guess they do it a similar way to how they did it in Armageddon previously at the start of this season. But yeah, I think fans would be very excited to see Mia back and to see any sort of Arrow character. I think the same thing applies for John Diggle, and that's why we're all rooting for the Justice U show, because technically it would be an Arrow spinoff, and that would be very, very exciting. And so I'm excited for everything to come in the Arrowverse, but especially Superman Lois's season finale, which is going to now be featuring John Diggle, so all the merrier, and especially when John shows up, I love his character. So that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.